I am loving this. I now have found space and I am thrilled to be here. I'm thoroughly enjoying it and it's very exciting. For the first time ever, uh, ESA has opened up its doors to primary and secondary uh, school teachers. We're seeing the largest ever workshop programme with more than 60 secondary school and 60 primary school teachers. And it's for any teacher who's interested in using space to inspire their students. We expect to learn more about ESA um, and how we can use um, this science and, and what ESA does uh, for our teaching. So we're really trying to enlighten the teachers, give them some ideas of how to make their lessons a little bit more exciting, bring in that space hook and uh, hopefully get the children excited about science, engineering and maths once again. <laughs> uh, so education is a very important uh, uh, means to get more young people into technology and science. Our fingers are too big. We do this to make the next generation of me, the next generation of the engineers that make the spacecraft, that test the spacecraft, that build the technology. We know space science inspires everybody from young people to old. But what a lot of people aren't aware of is that you can take many of these storyline themes to teach fundamental topics from the physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics curriculums from, from school systems across Europe. By coming here and experiencing the workshops themselves, they really learn how to do the experiment. And they also get to see how their students might experience it because they're doing it themselves and they really understand what they need to explain to make it clearer for the students. And so with the workshops that we have, it gives us a great opportunity to be able to reinvigorate teachers by upping their subject knowledge, but also reinvigorate them in terms of their effectiveness in what they're delivering every day in the classroom. There are things that I have taught before and then they've brought out a demonstration, we've started working and immediately it's fired things off in my mind and I've thought about different directions we could take it. This isn't some theoretical model that somebody has just come up with and said, why don't you trial it with your students? This is based on, we have done this with these students and it's really effective. Very nice. One of the difficult things about being a secondary teacher is I teach children from the age of 11 up to the age of 18 so what they need and how they learn is very very different so one of the great things is I feel I've got things that I can go back and teach the younger kids that's going to inspire them and enthuse them at the same time I can take things which are still going to inspire children at the age of 16 and 17 but it's also going to give that really rigorous kind of education. A really good part of this is all the other people that you meet and the discussions that you have and a great network of information is passing around Europe which is very exciting. These workshops are important for, uh, for various reasons, not only for, for the teacher but for us to also try and understand what the teachers need now because we need their feedback as much as they need our input. Uh, so this is a, a forum where teachers and uh, the ESA Education Office can mingle and talk to each other and learn from each other. It's given me a lot of ideas of things that I could bring in to kind of enhance and enrich the curriculum. Space flight is, is uh, exciting, it's exotic, it's very clean, very high tech and uh, so this is a fantastic way to show how interesting technology is. We've had some really great uh, famous scientists and famous astronauts talk to them so that was the inspirational value uh, which is hopefully something that they can transmit to their, to their students. I think the main message is space is cool, space is fun, science is cool, science is fun. Three, two, one.